ladies and gentlemen welcome to the health and wellness spot with me dr lewis muchile now today i want us to talk about saturated and unsaturated fat what is the difference between the two what are the sources of the two and which one to avoid and which one not to avoid so welcome now the difference between saturated and unsaturated fat is simple in between carbon atoms okay carbon is bonded to four different hydrogen ions and carbon has four bonds now if it is a single bond so carbon has the, uh, the ability to form single double and triple bonds so if it has a single bond then that qualifies it to be saturated why because it is bonded to maximum number of hydrogen ions if it has a double bond or a triple bond that means that qualifies it to be uh, unsaturated because it has the ability to share electrons that are in this double bond with other elements to form uh, 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 different compounds so saturated that's the difference between saturated and unsaturated uh, uh, carbon atoms or saturated and unsaturated fats so basically saturated have no double bonds or no triple bonds they have single bonds and unsaturated fats contain uh, multiple uh, double bonds or triple bonds now when you hit these two what happens is the unsaturated one uh, it has the ability to release those electrons in that double bond so once it releases these electrons they go and form free radicals and these free radicals later on can attack cells and alter metabolism in cells and also cause inflammation and these are the same radicals that are responsible for future uh, alteration of the mitochondria and remember we said if you alter the mitochondria then you expose your cells to cancer okay so that is for the unsaturated on the other hand for the saturated fats they still remain stable even under elevated temperatures and that means they will not re re uh, produce radicals that might affect your cells uh, metabolism and inflammation so again uh, once i keep mentioning uh, saturated fats and i mention animal fats and then i mention olive oil uh, which uh, is supposed to be a good fat or a good oil for cooking and then again i want you to understand that olive oil is classified under unsaturated because it has a single double bond so it is classified under unsaturated fats okay so that is olive oil and that's why it is unstable uh, under light and also uh, when you expose it to oxygen and that's why it is stored in glass and uh, dark colored bottles okay so you have to mark that now uh, these saturated and unsaturated uh, fatty acids can be used differently only that some of these unsaturated acid uh, uh, fats are taken some, some of them are taken through uh, refining and, and processing and then they are added in uh, chemicals to form trans fats and these trans fats are the ones that are, we, are used, we, uh, we use to, for, to, for cooking sorry uh, and the seed oils that I keep mentioning the ones that you buy in the supermarket and use for your frying so that one are dangerous those are the trans fats okay so these two but specifically i want to uh, base my attention on saturated fats because saturated fats are the animal fats and these are the ones that have benefits in our bodies and they have different benefits in our bodies which we'll mention at the end of the video but i just wanted to understand that the examples of saturated fats are uh, as uh, listed so we have lard which is uh, the fat that comes for the pig we have tallow the one from the from beef uh, we have sweat we have butter cheese uh, we have poultry fat poultry fat is sourced specifically from the skin of the poultry so i encourage most men when you're eating your chicken eat plus the skin why because the skin is the one that has high content of fat which has high content of cholesterol and this cholesterol will be used uh, to produce your testosterone and that will boost your se sexual stamina then we have ghee that comes from milk and uh, so those are the saturated uh, animal fats there are two uh, that come from plant so that is coconut oil and palm oil so those two can also be used for possibly deep frying because they're stable under high temperatures and now uh, 
since we've known uh, the differences, we've also understood the sources of saturated. I want to mention sources of unsaturated fat because these are the unhealthy fats. Okay, we should concentrate on saturated fats, which uh, uh, help us uh, to boost our immunity, to absorb nutrients and vitamins, and all these uh, advantages of brain development, uh, good skin. This comes from the saturated fats, and that's why I'm concentrating on saturated fats more than the unsaturated fats. So what are the benefits of these saturated fats in our bodies? Benefit number one, they increase omega-3. Now I want you to understand all nutrients, all fat-soluble nutrients uh, in your bodies are sourced from soluble fat. And these are animal fat and they are saturated. So these animal fats contain omega-3. They are high in content of omega-3. And remember in the body we have omega-3 and omega-6 at one-to-one -one ratio. So to increase omega-3 and low omega-6 ratio, you have to eat foods that are in high content of omega-3, which are fish, which is bone broth, uh, which is uh, meat, organ meat, even red meat, okay? And uh, yeah, and, and consume animal fat also. So basically, uh, those are the contents that have uh, high content of omega-3. omega, omega -3. And our intention is to boost omega-3 because that is anti-inflammatory, that is the one that boosts your immunity and that one that is the one that uh, helps you in brain development. Contrary to omega-6, which does the opposite. Omega-6 uh, is highly inflammatory, does not have any function in your brain, in your brain development. Actually, it causes brain, brain uh, deterioration. And also, uh, it is uh, uh, the one that causes, uh, that, that exposes your cells to cancer. So your aim should be to increase the ratio of omega-3 over omega-6. So, saturated fats have high content of omega-3, that's why you should consume them in plenty. Again, remember, if you eat saturated fats, they're the ones that give you the ability to absorb fat-soluble vitamins, which is vitamin A, vitamin D, E, and K. So those are fat-soluble vitamins that cannot be absorbed without animal fat. Number two, uh, the benefit number two, is uh, increased immunity. Okay? So, omega, uh, no, not omega-6, uh, Fatty, uh, these saturated uh, fats or saturated animal fats uh, increase your immunity. How? They increase your absorption of vitamin A. And vitamin A plays a very huge role in fighting of viruses. So vitamin A is a component that fights your vi viruses in your body. So the higher the content of vitamin A in your body, the higher chances of uh, fighting viruses in your body. And remember viruses, once they get into your body, they cannot live. So it's the role of uh, vitamin A to suppress their development. Role number three will have to go to the skin and the hair. So this component, remember hair is made up of uh, high content of protein. And these compounds uh, have high content of protein and fat. So these two are the ones that make up hair. Now if you have high content of fat and high content of protein, that means your hair will be smooth and soft and again it will not be brittle. And your skin, even with aging, it will still look uh, smooth. Then role number four is brain development, okay? Brain development and child development go hand in hand. A child needs high content of omega-3, and this has to come from the mother when she's pregnant. When you're pregnant, you should consume high contents of omega-3, which is meat, eggs, uh, bone broth, and animal fat. Once you consume this, the child gets this into their system, and that means their brain development will be superb. And again, their immunity will be high. So the brain development, is highly uh, saturated fat, which is DHA. So you need saturated fat to develop nerves and to develop uh, different components of the brain. So your child also needs that for their brain development and again, their growth. And also remember, uh, these animal fats uh, uh, go hand in hand with B vitamins. So all components of vitamin B, from vitamin B1 to vitamin B12, they go hand in hand with animal fat. So your child will need this uh, during their development. Now again, bile salts. Now on bile salts, we have, a, we have a huge bone to chew here. Why? Animal fat is high in cholesterol. And bile salts have a role in absorption of fat. So if you don't consume animal fat, that means you'll not produce bile salts. And that means you'll not absorb any fat or any lipids. Now, bile salts 
this this can can, can this uh, the, the the lack of uh, saturated animal fat can cause a condition called gall the the gallstones and this is where uh, you have low bile salts to help you absorb fat and therefore this fat and the cholesterol crystallizes to form stones so this appears as gallstones in the uh, in the gallbladder and that's a problem so if you consume high uh, animal fat you will con you'll, you'll start producing high bile salts and therefore you'll start absorbing fat and these gallstones will disappear so please take note of that now other functions include also uh, mood uh, bone development mood uh, elevation and gut health for gut health those people who have uh, autoimmune uh, conditions like arthritis, osteoarthritis, and uh, some so, so, and, and those conditions that are caused by uh, immune uh, reactions. If you start consuming animal fat, your gut will help you uh, uh, heal or recover from these conditions faster. This has been proven by studies, and this has been proven by also uh, trial. So you can be uh, uh, able to recover from these conditions. And then finally, hormones. Remember, fat and cholesterol is the mother of all hormones in the body. So once you consume animal fat, you will have high content of hormones. And therefore, uh, your, your stabilization of hormones will be at par. So basically, that's uh, about uh, it. We'll see you in the next. You know,